Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Optional. Today we're going to be doing something actually pretty characteristic of my channel. We are going to be doing a walkthrough of a couple of the web challenges or a few of the web challenges from Nahamcon CTF. Now, for those of you that don't know, we'll have been living under a rock for the last month while this is being promoted. Nahamcon, great, um, great conference put on by Nahams, Ek, Cyber Mentor and John Hammond. Um, it's a really great show of how um, cybersecurity influencers uh, are actually trying to make the most of uh, all the lockdowns. We may not have live conferences, but you know what? Why are we going to take the fun away? So John, for those of you that know him, loves the CTF. So he's gone and created or helped put together the CTF with, help with a bunch of other con um, challenge creators even and created some amazing challenges. So those that took part in Versicon and uh, the, the virtual conferences last year. This is like, take them and then just multiply it. They they went above and beyond. Um, so yeah, we, my team ended up finishing SIP for the Unexpendables. Um, really great team effort, I think. Um, really great match of players. Not played with this team before and honestly, we just gelled and it, it was amazing. Um, collectively, I think, between me and a, one or two others, I think there was maybe like 12 hours sleep over the course of two days between all of us. Um, and yeah, it, it was a real rush. I've not had that feeling of, I need to stay awake, I need to keep getting challenges completed um, on a CTF for a very long time. So it was really refreshing, really great. Um, so yeah, I'm logged into my optional account at the moment. Um, it's not on the scoreboard because we eventually merged into the um, Unexpendables team. Um, so yeah, we are going to be looking at Echo now. Echo is that one challenge where after you complete it, you think, that was really easy. Why did I take five hours on it? Um, in my case, I admittedly took, I believe, 30 minutes on this challenge. Uh, but nonetheless, still a great challenge. So what have we got in front of us? We have a, presumably, PHP page in front of us. Beautiful. So what can we do? What does this do? Let's do an LS. And you can already see the spoilers in the history field just below. But you know what? That's fine. So uh, please subscribe. Uh, I can't even spell. Subscribe. That's a mouthful even to echo. So that instantly gives us a character restriction. Do we know what that restriction is at the moment? No. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we could do that. I don't particularly care. There are better ways of doing this and that's actually progresses us towards solving the challenge. Let's see if we've got any bad characters and we do. I swear it got a bit interesting because I thought initially we could just echo PHP into the page, it would work. No, it wouldn't because of the blacklist. So knowing it's PHP, knowing there's something funky and it's echoing stuff to us, I started doing stuff like quotations, no. Nope. They are blocked. Nope. And then I, I, I basically I started going through symbols. How how do, is this interpreted and what's going on? Uh, I eventually stumbled upon backticks. Um, it took me a little bit too long to find that, as admittedly. But hey, we learned something new. It's something I'm going to be testing in the future. Uh, so let's do LS and wrap it in backticks, and we get command execution. Oh wow, the crowd goes wild. But the main part here is we have command execution, but we have a character restriction. Now, these are some of my favorite challenges in CTFs. I don't know why. I always find when I'm restricted by length, you learn something. And whether that's Linux, whether that's web-based, you, you're always going to learn something. It's it's actually incredible. Um, so let's start enumerating. So where are we on the system? We are in var HTML. Who default? We're in the web index, uh, the web directory. Let's do a who am I? We are dub dub data. Um, in theory, I think you could have probably shelled this in some peculiar way. Uh, I've, I've not spent too much time trying to faff around with it because I, I, I wanted to flag it. It was a 48 hour event. Um, so the moment we get the flag, you progress, obviously. And it becomes real, um, really intense, especially when the first, like, opening 15 minutes to an hour of the CTF uh, when it comes up, obviously. Um, we all know a CTF timer or countdown timer to start is basically just a countdown to 
the CTF dying. Um, but that aside, the actual challenges were incredible. So what have we got here? We need to enumerate for a flag file. So I started doing your typical ls dot dot slash and crazy, we found it. It's in the slash var slash um, dub 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 directory, right? So you'd think, ah, let's just cat flag dot txt, easy. No, because there's a content link. So let's just cat index dot php real quick and see what we're working with. So when it wants to open, we will instantly see the PHP here. So the main things to pay attention to in that instantly flagged up to me was the, the basically, is this in this string? If it is, we're going to return. I'm going to throw this at your face. Then the other thing that I was looking for was the... Oh, you were asked for a cat, didn't you? I, I mean, I just dig cat, but I guess that just means if you do cat itself. But this is a bit we're looking for, string length. So this means if echo is greater than 15, you're going to error. So that gives us a hard limit, right? Which is when we get interested, we know where flag is. We know the character length and we know the restricted characters. Now, restricted characters isn't really a problem um, when you get to this stage in the challenge, but we know we have to get that flag. So the solution that I ended up coming up with, and I think a lot of people did, was it's echoing into the page, right? So we can do a less than, which means it's just going to pipe it into the command, into the echo. Um, and then you just do backslash flag. Bingo. Crazy, right? Um, talking around, uh, I've seen, I think, one or two people use uh, rgrep, which up until this competition, I didn't know about rgrep. So this was actually really nice to know. Uh, actually a lot shorter so if we're going off of uh, I want to I want to find the the shortest possible solution I think this is actually one of my favorite solutions that they've actually that I've seen um, overall I think this is a really fun challenge um, did it take too long to complete yes it did did I learn something as well yes so my my plea to anyone that uh, didn't take part in this CTF keep an eye out for any CTFs uh, John has association to any CTS, any conferences that any of these guys that that ran NahamCon uh, are involved with. Because actually, it's it's incredible. Uh, the quality is impeccable. As always, uh, if any of the creators are watching this, amazing challenges this year, guys. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, walkthrough for Echo. I hope uh, you guys learned something. And yeah, keep an eye out for the Worker Bee and Imposter videos. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Please leave a like, subscribe, do the algorithm stuff, and yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Adios. Just on the tail end of the video, guys, I want to add a quick shout out to the people that joined on the members. Going off the YouTube uh, members list that I've got, Nyx, join that legend tier. You're an absolute babe. Thank you very much. Uh, Kiwi, Bryce, Brandon, and Westhar. Uh, thank you very much for joining as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some more videos out soon. Guys.